Hello there guys, Rob Price here back with the Cornhole Journey sponsored by Black Sheep Baggers. Got my Costellos today and I want to talk to you about a system I use to throw every single bag. It's a, it's a checkpoint, I call it flash. It's like loading your flash drive in your brain, F-L-A-S-H. We'll show you what they mean and it might help your game and make you a better cornhole uh, player, competitor when it really counts on the boards. Let's take a look at flash. Okay, so here we go. I'm here on the left side of the board. So I'm a left-handed thrower, so we'll first throw off board. And so what is the flash system? Well, pretty simply, and it's no particular order in how I do it, but I hit all five before every single throw. So begin, first of all, with F. That's where my feet are going to be positioned at. If I want to be, obviously, an open board, I want to be right down close I can to the board. If it's a slight step out, put my feet here. If it's all the way out, got to get around shots. So where are my feet going to be at? So pretty much by default, going to be close, so feet right there next to the board. And then L stands for uh, the landing spot or the, or the lane, the landing lane you could say. Where do I want this bag to land? And consequently, the lane I want it to take. So landing lane or lane. So in this case, I want to go right up the middle and I want to hit at the spot. If you can see this from far distance, I want to land this spot just inside of halfway, about where the bottom of the Texas is on that board. So I picked the landing spot, landing lane. So I've got my F, got my L, and then my A is going to be my angle. So I want to throw it uh, flat, uh, angle this way, uh, left top or right top, so to create a cut. So in this case, I want to have a flat angle. No need to cut or move it around, so F, L, A. And then um, S is the side of the bag, fast or slow side. In this case, I'll probably go slow. So uh, black sheep is going to be 5.5, I think actually, uh, yeah, 5.5 and then 8 for guns up. So we'll go 5.5 speed. And the last one I think a lot of people don't think about, and that is H, the height. The height that I want the bag to fly at its apex. So the last thing I'll do is right before I get set, and I'll show you my system of setting up physically later, but. Uh, in this case, I'm ready to go, and the last thing I'll do is I got F L A S. I look up at the spot, a tree limb or a spot above the roof there in the sky. I pick a spot, the highest I want this uh, bag to go, and then the last thing I do is I look back down to get at my landing spot. And at that point, it's it's target locked, and I just fire. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Of course, that was total trash. My first throw of the day. Let's try it again. There you go. Okay, so now I come back at you uh, from the far side to the new camera there. I'm gonna be on board. So with my lefty swing here. So feet, landing spot, just short of halfway, obviously flat, open, open board, slow side, pick my height, fire. Perfect, easy game, right? Huh. If only we could do it all the time. Let's try it again. Okay, batting a thousand. This one's off, let's still get nine points. Bingo. Hey guys, Ice Price back here in the car. Just wanted to add a small little tag to that video you just watched about the mental flash drive. Um, hope that helps you, helps me. So kind of gives me some focus on my, on my throw. And I may do some more videos kind of breaking down the other letters. Uh, there may be one just on the F and the L combined, for example, the, the foot location on the pitch, whether you're up against the board or out a few inches or a foot or out all the way, the full three feet that's allowed. Now that ties in with really the L, the landing 
but the landing lane, the landing spot. Those two kind of are a symbiotic relationship, if you think about it. So I may do a, 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 an episode just on that, and maybe one just on the A of flash. A, of course, is the angle of attack. The flat, or you left to right, right to left. Of course, that moves the bag around the board, which you can do. And uh, that really ties in with the grip, right? And the release from the grip. So there'll be a, a video just on that later on, and then maybe one on just the S, the side of the bag. When do you throw tacky? When do you throw slick? Um, there's reasons why you can choose either one. Uh, board conditions, humidity, other bags on the board. My personal favorite shot of, of all time, the one I enjoy the most pulling off, is the slick side level one V block that sits right in front of the hole, maybe even just a corner of the bag, just tipping over into the, into the hole. It's so delicious. I caught you a delicious bass. Because it's pretty much guaranteed to go in on the next bag or two, whether my opponent hits it or I hit it. Plus it gives my opponent just something to look at, something to think about. Maybe he kind of pushes it off and he goes off to the left and pushes mine in. So, so how do you do that? You know, a little bit higher on the arc, the height, but we'll talk about when to go slick, when to go uh, sticky. And then a video on just the H, the height, uh, the apex of the bag. I've got three different levels I, sh I shoot for, kind of a standard, a high, and a low, and we'll break that down for you, so. But I wanna hear from you guys. What do you want to hear me or see me cover on this channel as it grows? Maybe you've got some of your own cool practice tips or things you've done to grow in your cornhole journey. I wanna hear about it, so hit me up on the comments below on the channel here or email me. Uh, privately at rob at the cornholejourney.com rob at the cornholejourney.com and I'd love to create a dialogue with you guys as we grow on our cornhole journey together well as far as journeys go I'm off today to go to Top Golf with a buddy of mine up here in Dallas and then later on a blind draw in Ennis so fun full summer day for me uh, being a college teacher uh, as well as my other you know video side job I have a lot of free time so in the summer so loving life right now working on my game and so uh, we'll catch up with you soon let's stay in touch as we work on our cornhole game together never stop dreaming